hello student today we will see the another article in unit number 1 the name of the article is communication cost in parallel machine in the last lecture we have seen network topology for parallel platform in that we have seen various topology right from bus to fat trees in between that there are hypercues mesh star topology completely connected network topology a linear array all this topology is used for parallel platforms for performing the parallelization or high performance computing now very important activity is that processes are communicated with each other one processor can send message to other processor for communication now today's article will focus on communication cost in parallel machine what is the communication cost in parallel machine along with idling and contention communication is a major overhead in parallel programs we know that machines are remaining ideal contention means machines are busy in executing the activity so apart from idling and contention communication is the major overhead in parallel program how machines are communicated with each other how they are sending messages how they receive the messages that plays the major overhead in the parallel programs so idling contention and communication are the three overhead in the parallel programs the cost of communication is dependent on variety of features including the programming model semantics network topology data handling and routing and associated software protocols message passing cost in parallel computer now there are some factors which are associated with message passing cost in parallel computer what are these factors the total time to transfer the message over the network comprises of following factors first one is startup time indicated by small ts so what is the startup time startup time is the time spent at sending and receiving node executing the routing algorithm programming the router and etc so it is a time spent at sending and receiving nodes that is the startup time second factor per hop time indicated by small th this is the time which is a function of number of hopes and includes factors such as factor such as switches latency network delays etc third factor is per hope per word transfer time indicated by tw this is the time which includes all overheads that are determined by length of messages this includes bandwidth of links error checking and correction etc now some of the protocols are required for this uh, uh, message passing cost or message passing in parallel computers what are these protocols first one is store and forward routing a message traversing multiple hope is completely received at an intermediate hope before being forwarded to next hope the total communication cost for message of size m words to travel l communication link is given by this formula t com equal to ts plus m tw plus thl where ts is the startup time tw is per word transfer time and th is per hope time so this will give you the tcom that is a total communication cost for message of size m words to traverse l communication link <coughs> in most platform th is small and the above expression can be approximately as tcom equal to ts plus m l tw because in most of the platform th is very small 
so this routing technique this figure shows you that how the messages are traveled travel from processor p0 to p3 so as shown here a single message sent over store and forward network p0 sent the message received by p1 after a completion it received by p2 after a completion it received by p3 this is shown in figure a now the same message is broken into two parts and sent over the network that is shown in this uh, routing technique now third figure shows you the same message is broken into four <clears throat> parts and sent over the network so message pass from node p0 to p3 through a store and forward communication network figure b and c extending the concept of cut through routing so dividing the message among number of uh, sub part is nothing but cut through routing the shaded region represent the time that message is in transit the startup time associated with this message transfer is assumed to be assumed to be zero now packet routing stored and forward makes a poor use of communication resources packet routing break the message into packets and pipeline them through the network i have shown you in this figure first one is the stored and forward entire message is stored in the processor and it is forwarded until and unless it is not completely forwarded it is not received by processor number 2 same thing happens by processor number 3 that is a stored and forward uh, network but in case of uh, uh, routing techniques here packet routing the packet routing break the message into packets and pipeline them through the network as shown here the message is broken down into two parts where the shaded portion is nothing but the time the message is in transit so uh, some part of the message is in transit some part is not in transit that is shown in this figure that is a packet routing since the packet may take different path each packet must carry routing information error checking sequencing and other related header information the total communication time for packet routing is approximately given by tcom equal to ts that is the starting time th is the per hop time uh, tw is the uh, per word time so that is tcom equal to ts plus thl plus twm the factor tw accounts for overhead in the packet header now cut through routing so dividing the entire message into number of parts is nothing but the cut through routing that takes the concepts of packet routing to an extreme by further dividing the message into basic unit called fleets so as shown in this figure here in figure c you can see or you can observe that the same message is broken down into number of parts that is called as fleets and this is nothing but a cut through routing so uh, cut through routing takes the concept of packet routing to an extreme by further dividing the message into basic unit called fleets since fleets are typically small the header information must be minimized this is done by forcing all fleets to take the same path in sequence a tracer message first programs all intermediate routers all fleets then take the same route error checks are performed on entire message as opposed to fleets no sequence numbers are needed in case of cut through routing now cut through routing the total communication time for cut through routing is approximately given by our formula tcom equal to ts plus thl plus twm this is identical to packet routing however tw is typically much smaller so these are the three protocol which are used in message passing in parallel machine so i repeat that first one is the stored and forward second one is packet routing third one is cut through routing now <clears throat> a simplified cost model for communicating messages the cost of communicating messages between two nodes l hop away using cut through routing is given by tcom equal to ts plus lth plus twm in this expression th is typically smaller and ts and tw uh, as compared to ts and tw 
So for this reason, the second term in the RHS does not show particularly when M is large. Furthermore, it is often not possible to control the routing and placement of tasks. For this reason, we can approximate the cost of message transfer by Tcom equal to Ts plus Twm. So it is important to note that the original expression for communication time is valid for only uncongested network. If the link takes multiple messages, the corresponding TW term must be scaled up by number of messages. Different communication pattern congest different networks to varying extent. It is important to understand that the account for this is in communication time accordingly. So cost model for shared address based machine. While the basic messaging cost applied to this machine as well, a number of other factors make accurate cost modeling more difficult. Memory layout is typically determined by the system. Finite cache size can result in cache trashing. Overhead associated with invalidate and update operation are difficult to quantify. Special locality is difficult to model. Prefetching can play a role in reducing the overhead associated with data access. Fault sharing and contention are difficult to model. So this is the cost model for shared address space machine. So as uh, in this uh, article, we learn what is the communication cost of message passing in parallel machines. So very important that there are three factors, three basic protocols. First one is the st store and forward. Second one is packet routing. And next one is uh, cut through routing. And along with startup time, per hope time and the per word time are the very important uh, factors for calculating the total communication time or cost required to pass the message in parallel machine. Okay, so this is the end of this article. Thank you very much.